Tonight, Haunted Lancaster brings us to the town of Columbia, where a museum intended to educate has the ability to teach more than history. I mean, there are those things that go on that can't be explained, so by rational thought. So, I mean, I guess by definition, that would be paranormal. The National Watch and Clock Museum is dedicated to preserving the history of timepieces. From the earliest to the most recent, they all have a story to tell. We have wristwatches that were owned by World War I veterans that saw their service. You know, we're with them while they served on, in, in, in France in the trenches. We have a, a tower clock in this room that was in Trinity Wall Street's church tower on 9-11. Um, so it, it saw that day's events and, and the suffering that went with that. Being present for such moments of intense emotion can leave an imprint on an item. That could be one reason museum employees never feel alone. One recent encounter was so strong it was caught on one of the museum's security cameras. I think it was about 7 o'clock, 7.15 in the morning. Um, our admissions manager had arrived to work at that point. I was in my office um, and while she was in the security office putting her lunch in the refrigerator, out uh, of the corner of her eye on the, on the screens that monitor our cameras, she caught something on, on a certain one of the cameras. This unedited, unaltered video shows a dark shadow moving between the displays. The worker was so shaken she called in her boss to review the footage. We went back into the video to see if it had actually captured anything. And what it actually captured was, was some kind of odd shadow uh, dancing in a way or jumping or moving around. Interestingly enough, the watch case that it's over is our World War I case, the case that has most of the watches that we have from World War I veterans in it. With each clock holding memories and possibly the personality of its former owner, footsteps and strange occurrences here have become commonplace. We will hear random chiming from a clock that has just decided that it's going to chime. I mean, I can be back here and be like, well, what's ticking? Something's ticking. We can't find it. Somewhere something's ticking. Um, and then it'll stop. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I think that there is certainly, uh, we've certainly experienced enough in this museum to make us wonder what it is. You've seen the building and you've heard their stories. Now it's time for you to decide. For Haunted Lancaster, I'm Peter Tarabarelli.